that we know we're capable of more, but it's easy for us to, it's easy for anybody to get in a situation of ungratitude, mm -hmm. to not feel like, man, what we have right now is not enough by looking at other people, right? So our message to you today is, Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, me and Brianna, we just came by this old place that we used to stay at. And hi, Brianna. Hey. <laughs> and so this is where we used to live. Uh, you see this little apartment right up here. This is our balcony. And when we, when we, when we first started SunClean, uh, we lived here and we figured we'd take a step by because our, our movies is, is right around the corner. We pick up medications here still. We're kind of up in this area. And we live kind of, I don't know, how far do we live from here now? Like 30, 40 minutes away. My office is actually 20, 15 minutes down the street My here. Like Her family lives around the corner. And so we thought we would stop by and uh, just remember the progress that was made from, how long has it been now? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. So we're, we're taking an inside look almost three years so two three years ago we lived in this little place here and it was actually a pretty good size but i mean as you can tell it's a, it's a nice little place i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's, yeah it's comfortable you know um it's in a small suburban neighborhood um but there's memories here and the, and the memories are good and the memories are bad because there was many sleepless nights here many indulging and cookies and just stressful times you know because we were in the mess of building our business at, at that moment. And us. Yeah, and building our relationship at the same time as our first year in, in the relationship. And us as individuals. Yeah, and ourselves as individuals trying to grow as people, right? So, you know, maybe you're in a mess right now. Maybe you're, you're in your first year of your relationship. You're building a business. You're trying to grow as a person because you're a millennial. Maybe you're under the age of 30 or maybe you're over 30 and, and you're getting married for the first time or you're trying to like build a business and you're, you're starting late, right? Uh, we did this in our 20s and, and we're still working on it every single day, but we see the massive progress that we've had in our life by just taking a step to, to stop here, look at where we came from, look at all the different memories of what we used to do here. Um, do you remember on how we, what we used to eat, what we used to, what we used to watch and how did that look like? burgers from mcdonald's mm. um or burger king because mcdonald's had dollar cheeseburgers we had coupons from burger king coupons from carl's jr um sometimes i would like steal like the frozen burritos that my parents had at the house and i would like bring them home so we could eat them because that's how broke we were and what about internet and cable and stuff like that internet. No internet? Um, cable, we had no cable because we couldn't pay for it. Yeah. And then we did through like the big bins at Walmart. Mm hmm. Um, dollar movies. Yeah, and that's how we got our entertainment uh, is we would, we, would, we would go to Walmart. Walmart's right around the corner here. And we would walk over there. That, that would be the highlight of our night is we would go to Walmart, we would find one $2 DVDs. And we would find, you know, old school movies that were like super cool back in the day. And then we would get like a, a dessert, you know, maybe some cookies or I would get a roll of cookies because, you know, I was in I was indulging uh, in my stress. You know, I was stress eating, basically. And uh, when you're building a business, you got things going on and, and you're you're stressing out how you can pay the rent. Um, but even during those times, I knew that it was only temporarily and we were going to come out of it. Which we did. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you you know, throughout the process, there was a faith process involved. You know, there, there was a moment in time where we made a decision that we could keep doing it the way that we were doing it, or we can make a decision, bold decision, a bold decision to change things. And so when we were living here, it was like 1600 bucks a month and we could barely afford that. She was actually pitching in on the rent. Uh, you know, a couple bucks here and, and there, you know, to help, right? It was super helpful at the time. Um, cause she was working a full-time job, 
she was working a full-time job she wasn't going to school or anything like that or you kind of were going to school right okay yeah and and she was working full-time too so that was helpful um but when we when we made a decision to change things it was a it was a it was a moment decision it was literally within a moment right and and i'm not going to say we weren't working our asses off uh at that time but there was some decisions made that changed the course of everything that had happened and those decisions is kind of why we are where we're at now one of those decisions was moving it was although this environment is not bad as you can see i mean we were blessed to be here right uh, we just wanted to have a change, you know, a change in environment, a change in people, a change in uh, scenery. scenery, you know, something fresh, you know, because um, everything was just kind of too, too yeah, too comfortable. I think that's the right word for it. Too comfortable. Uh, we were OK with our circumstances. You know, I can I was out door knocking in these neighborhoods and I was able to provide for us ex just enough of what we needed. Fair. Right barely yeah barely and um so so at the end of the day it was really just a, a decision that kind of changed things for us and you could do that too but you have to be willing to make a change so if you're in the service business or you're in any business and you're comfortable where you're at right now you're never going to build anything better than what it is if you don't get a little uncomfortable and put yourself in an uncomfortable situation uh you got it you got to get uncomfortable you know, you have anything on comfortability, babe? Um, no, I think from a partner's point of view, you just have to trust your partner and your partner's capabilities. When we moved, it was definitely uncomfortable for me. First of all, I don't like moving. I've never moved really in my life. And financially wise, we were not prepared at all to move. But I trusted John and I trusted his capabilities and I, I trusted his ideas and I believe in him and you as an entrepreneurial partner whether it's female female or male you need to trust in them you need to believe in them and support them 110 percent even if it is scary a majority of the time you just you need to do it because like I always said this is what I signed up for and it's part of the deal so enjoy the ride because when you're in a situation like we're in it it's all worth it and then he still does scary stuff and it's like all right here we go mm -hmm. but it's part of the ride enjoy it absolutely so uh you know you got to make a decision make a decision are you are you going to accept your current situation or are you going to change it and that's going to take some risk that's going to take some uh you know some 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 money it's going to take it's going to take everything you got you know everything you got to try to catapult your current circumstances to the next level okay so if you're considering in your business right now that you're like you know what it's just it's working just enough um you're just getting by you're comfortable uh maybe you have a winter season or some sort of season where you're just like it you're barely getting by okay you need to zig and zag because that's what i was constantly looking for in the business was like where's that edge you know, where's the edge? Like, you know, going out every day, doing the same thing over and over is called insanity. You, you're, you're looking for a different result, but you're doing the same thing over and over and over. You gotta try something new, you know, get some education, right? Change your mindset, get some education from somebody that's been there where you wanna go, okay? Put yourself in an uncomfortable environment. If you can't, if you can't afford your bills right now, put yourself in an even more uncomfortable environment so you can, you can catapult yourself to force yourself to get out there and do what's necessary. Uh, you got to put yourself in these uncomfortable situation guys. It's it's what's gonna take you to that next level you. It's gonna excel you but most of all what I would like to say is that Don't judge yourself based off of what you're what you're doing right now Judge yourself based off of where you've been. Okay, I mean don't judge yourself off of other people in their lives and what they got going on Okay take a look at where you've been okay you're at this place you know no cable cheeseburgers every night okay dollar two dvds no internet okay judge yourself off of that look at you where you're at now so if you were eating double cheeseburgers or you didn't have your own place before or you didn't have a company van before or you didn't have an employee before but now you do that's progress you're making progress 
And part of the journey is having gratitude for that progress, okay? And so where we're at now, we've had tons of progress, tons of reward, and it's even easier, easy for someone like us to be in, a, in an incredible situation that sometimes is even is hard still, but it's easy for us to look at it and be like, dude, we want more. We want this, we want that, it's not enough, right? We know that it's capable. Yeah, we know we're capable of more, but it's easy for us, to, it's easy for anybody to get in a situation of ungratitude. Mm -hmm to not feel like, man, what we have right now is not enough by looking at other people, right? So our message to you today is look at where you've been, measure yourself off of you and what you've accomplished, what you've done, and put yourself in an uncomfortable environment, an uncomfortable situation to where you can commit first and figure it out later. Number three, is you're going to do something that you've never done before and potentially learn from somebody that has been where you want to be, okay? Large commercial contracts for my business has changed our life and that was our zig and our zag and we had many zigs and zags throughout the business. But large commercial contracts was a big part of changing it, plus partnership, plus a lot of other things, having a great team, having all these things. But it starts with you as the business owner your partner, if you have one, um, and your ideas and your zigging and zagging and, and, and all of these other things. So I hope this helps. You have anything to say, babe? Keep grinding. Keep showing up, okay? Keep showing up because one day uh, things might look a little different from the life that you're living right now. It will. It will. Yeah, just hold on. Just hang on there. You're on your way. Thanks, guys, for listening.